Good morning. First, our main story. Labour is urging the government to delay signing a new contract for the West Coast main line until Parliament returns next week. The party says that MPs must have the chance to consider the decision to take the franchise from Virgin Trains and give it to First Group. Sir Richard Branson has offered to continue running the line on a not-for-profit basis so that a parliamentary review can be carried out. For many years, Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Trains has run the West Coast Main Line. But this week, the government's preparing to sign a contract, giving the franchise to another train operator, First Group. Yet in the final hours before pen is put to paper, a fierce lobbying campaign is underway to put the controversial decision on hold. First Group is promising passengers more trains and more seats, but critics fear the company won't be able to afford the £5.5 billion it paid for the bid. More than 130,000 people have signed an e-petition opposing the deal, and now Sir Richard Branson has even offered to run the franchise for free for a few months to allow time for a rethink. The Department of Transport are not being transparent, and what we're saying to the Prime Minister is uh, you need to examine the figures properly. Um, you need to uh, get an independent expert to look at the figures. Today, Labour Shadow Transport Secretary Maria Eagle has written to her opposite number, urging the government to put the contract on hold until MPs return next week so that they too have a chance to consider the deal. But a spokesman for the Transport Secretary, Justine Greening, said there'd been a fair process and no reason had been advanced to convince the government not to sign the contract. James Landell, BBC News. So let's speak now to our political correspondent, Ross Hawkins, who uh, joins us. Uh, Ross, where does this go from here? Well, there's been a commercial battle going on for months behind the scenes between these two groups who want to run this bit of railway. At the moment, that battle is taking place in public, and it's particularly ferocious now because tomorrow the contract is meant to be signed, and this should be a done deal. In terms of where it goes next, well, Virgin have been keeping their lawyers busy right over the weekend. If they do not get their way in getting this delayed, there is every possibility, I think, of some sort of legal action by Virgin in some sort of judicial review to try to postpone it. But equally, on the other side, if the government did decide arbitrarily away from the normal procedures just to delay everything so the whole process could be examined, audited and, in effect, reopened, I'm sure the other side of this argument, first group, wouldn't let that go without comment either. Plenty of politicians want to say. Plenty of them would like a delay on Labour's side. It remains to be seen what will happen. We should get an idea by tomorrow when we will know whether the contract's been signed or not. Ross, thanks very much indeed. Yes, the clock is uh, ticking. Two boys aged three and five have...